The European champion uh, Chiara Pellacani, she won last year with Team Italy. She's going to perform uh, an inward two and a half somersault pike. Oh, great way to start this championship. This is a great push off the board. She gets really fast in her pike position and uh, ends up in the water completely vertical. Good, good performance by her. Seven, seven and a half from the judges. Good, great dive for, from the Italian diver. Next up is her teammate, Lorenzo Marzaglia, for the second individual dive of Team Italy. A very hard dive, reverse three and a half somersault tuck. Good hurdle. And very good dive overall. The entry could have been a little bit cleaner. I gotta say, it splashed a little bit too much, but very nice stop. He squeezes his tuck position very much. Get all the way around, and it pulls a little bit too hard back with his shoulders in this particular moment when it comes out, and it goes a little bit over. But... 61.25 points for him. We have um, we have Caroline Kupka performing an inward two and a half somersault tuck, 2.7 degree of difficulty. It's the same dive that the Italian Chiara Velacani did before, but in a different position. She did a good job overall, a little bit pushed uh, off the board a little bit too far back. So it doesn't get as high as she wanted, but manages anyways to land fairly vertical on the water. Just yeah, it is uh, just a little bit low. Probably the scores aren't going to be very high. Six, Let's see what the judges think. Yeah, sixes from the judges and. Uh, a five and a half you that for individual competitions and individual dives. The top two scores and the lower two are are not used to as and counted for the total. Just the average three judges scores are added together and multiplied by the degree of difficulty. We saw Caroline's teammate Isaac performing at a front three and a half somersault pike. We saw him struggling a little bit to get in that pike position, not very clean in the air, but still gets on his head fairly vertical, probably fives, five and a half from the judges. What? Let's see what they think. Yeah, a couple of sixes too, so yeah, could have done a little bit better, but it's never, never easy to to approach an event. On the first dive, there's a lot of emotions. With Valeria Antolino, the diver born in Venezuela and diving for Spain since uh, she was 14. In uh, 2016, she moved to Spain and now stayed there. Dives for the club team of Real Canoe. Nice reverse two and a half somersault tuck. As uh, as Valeria, the whole the whole team. Uh, from Spain is from the same club team, the Real Canoe, all diving in Madrid together. Six is for Valeria from the judges. Does a good job, just like the Italian diver Lorenzo, which was doing the same rotation, the reverse rotation. She pulls too far back with her shoulders on the entry and goes slightly over, but does an okay job overall. Uh, Head of Norway at the moment, but we got to see Alberto Arevalo Alcon doing a front four and a half somersault tuck. Very hard dive. Uh, nice job, nice job. He struggled a little bit on the hurdle, on the approach to the tip of the board, and uh, he, he left the board. It was quite behind on the board, but still gets very high and. Uh, very fast in the his, his spins very very fast and uh, 
Even though he did his best, the dive ends up being short for sixes. Uh, not bad. Not too bad. And uh, Spain is in second behind Italy at the moment. On the board right now, inward two and a half. Somersault tuck, 2.7 degree of difficulty. Oh, nice entry. Very clean in the entry. Um, doesn't get very, very high, but it's, she is definitely the cleanest entry we have seen so far. She got the best entry. Nice kick out of the tuck position. We see not many splashes coming out of the water when she enters. Good job from the young Ukrainian diver. And Danilo Konovalov now. Reverse three and a half somersault tuck. Very strong young diver from Ukraine. Nice dive. Nice dive. Uh, just like Lorenzo Marzaglia from the first team, the Italian team. He does not get a perfect entry. Splashes a little bit too much. It goes very high. We can see how he squeezes that tuck position. Very good job. Six and a half from, uh, from the judges, even an eight from judge number five. Team Ukraine gets in first position at the moment, 29 points. And Team Armenia is already on the board with Aliza Zakarian. Reverse two and a half somersault tuck. No, that, that, that is not the right dive she wanted to do. She did, she got the worst possible position on her hurdle. And unfortunately for her, the dive is failed so the judges do not award her any score because the three um, decided it's failed out she touched with her feet first and now her teammate has to do a reverse one and a half somersault three and a half twist trying to get back on track for this competition and also Vladimir Aratunian uh, struggles with his first dive uh, the hurdle was good but we can see from the replay how he gets in the twist a little bit too early that causes um, that causes the dive to go over, over rotate both on the somersault and in the twist so well not the way they wanted to start the Armenian divers with only 49 points there in uh, fifth place at the moment we have Team Greece now up. Theophilos Aftinos is going to perform a front three and a half somersault pike, 3.1 degree of difficulty. Greece did not compete last year in this event. They added two young divers, the female divers, to the team. And now this year they are in contention for medals in this final. Teofilo does, does a good job with his dive. Seven, seven and a half from the judges. Uh, very nice pike position, very squeezed. And the dive is not very fast. It goes high and clean in the position and in the entry, but it's a little bit slow in the rotation. But seven, seven and a half is a good job for his first dive. His team, his teammate, Stravula uh, Chamelu, inward two and a half somersault tuck. Good top, same as her teammate, Chamelu, uh, Stravula as well. She's a little bit slow uh, spinning in her somersault and uh, doesn't get all the way vertical, finishes the dive quite low. Probably fives from the judges, I'd say. But she's very, very young. Born in 2006, she's 16 years old. Uh, she's going to turn 17 in two months in August. And uh, it's a good experience for her, first experience at Europeans. 
there's a little delay from uh, from the judges to get the scores while we see Juliette Landy the French diver on the board waiting for her turn to go Well, while we are waiting for uh, to see what's the outcome of this dive, I can tell you that this year European Championship, it's um, this year the continent best divers will compete to secure places for their respective countries at the Par Paris Olympic Games next year. There will be four spots, four birds up for grab for uh, Paris to the respective female and male winners of the individual three meter and platform disciplines. So those are the first uh, spots for the Olympics um, that will be ended out. So Greece got a failed dive. I did not understand why she, she did perform the dive that was listed. We'll see what We'll get what info we get from DAC, and we'll see later. But now we already have uh, Juliette Landy, and we're going to have Summer Tuck for the French dive. Nice dive, nice dive. Again, another dive that doesn't get very explosive uh, off the board. It's a little bit low. We saw her going, grab her legs a little bit too early before she gets all the push off the board but manages to get vertical sixes from the judges, a total of 47.25 points for Juliet, Very young, talented diver, just 16 years old, also the French diver. Her teammate, Buyer, former junior world champion on the one meter springboard, is doing a front three and a half somersault pike. Very strong off the board. Unfortunately for him, though, I've got to say his upper body was leaning a little bit too far forward off the board. We can see here it doesn't reach all the way up with his arms. So this uh, puts the dive a little bit too far away from the springboard. Nice entry, vertical. Probably sevens, I'd say. Yeah, seven and a half. The, the judges do not deduct too many points because of the distance from the board. Seven and a half, even an eight is not counted. 69 points, point 75 for him. France, at this point, should be in uh, third place. And Team Germany now is up on the board. Lena Enschel, bronze medal at the Olympic Games in Tokyo in synchro with Tina Punzel, now on the board, performing reverse two and a half summers of pipe. And this is a big mistake for one of the teams that really was aiming for gold. And this is not the best way to start this team event. Force from the judges, Lena ends up way too far over. It was a good top. It was a good top, I guess, in the air. She did not. Her knees were a little bit bent off the board, but then at, on the come out, she just waits way too long and goes over. You gotta say that Team Germany has some very, very difficult dives on in the competition. So, like for example, this one where Moritz Wasemann is competing front three and a half, uh, four and a half somersault tuck, and does a fantastic job with it. This dive has the highest degree of difficulty of the competition 3.8 so he can make up some of the points that his teammate lost on the reverse nice nice job by Moritz 7.5 8.8 from the judges 89.30 points the higher scoring dive so far in the competition 125.30 points Germany is in third right behind Italy Good job by Moritz. And we have Team Great Britain on the board with the Jarnet now. Front two and a half somersault, full twist in a pike position. 
Ooh, struggle with the hurdle. Oh, wow. Big struggle with the hurdle for the British lady. She was, we can see from the replay, she was all the way to the left side. Half of her left foot was tipping off the board and uh, still manages to get enough strength to get a vertical and actually even over, but even loses her feet in the entry. Uh, not great. Four and a half, five, 42 points. Let's see, Ben Cutmore, Benjamin is doing a reverse three and a half somersault. Tuck 3.5 degree of difficulty. Hopefully for him, he gets a better hurdle than his teammate. Good top. Good top, slightly short in the entry. He, ben is uh, mainly a platform dive. We saw him getting bronze medal last year in Rome at the 2022 European Championship on the platform individual event. Sixes for him, five and a half sixes for him, 61 points. Leaves Great Britain a little bit too far back in these first two dives with 103 points. So after the first round of dives, we have Ukraine, Italy, Germany, Spain, France, Great Britain, Norway, and Greece. And last place is for Armenia. In this moment, we saw already two failed dives in the first two in the first round in the first two individual three meter events now second round of dives all teams will perform a mixed synchro three meter dive we see ready on the board team italy with chiara pelacani and edward timbretti guju here we are everything is ready the divers are ready. Last year, these two divers got a gold medal in Rome, but did not perform the mixed synchro three meter dive uh, because the Italy changed one diver. They added Lorenzo Marsaglia instead of uh, Andreas Larsen. And so they changed a little bit. The, com the dives are exactly the same as last year, but the people competing them they switch a little bit let's see how they do they're back to an half somersault pike nice dive nice dive by the Italians who do not have uh, much experience as a synchro uh, team in this case Chiara is a little bit lower than uh, Edward uh, but synchro wise is almost perfect Seven and a half, sevens for them, 64, 50 total. Very good job, and we see how happy they are with her. their dive. Nice dive. Big smiles all around for Team Italy. They are at 190.25 total points. Team Norway now. We have Isaac and Caroline, front two and a half somersault, full twist. Good synchro on the hurdle and great synchro overall. I gotta say the timing in the push off the board and the come out of the somersault is uh, very, very good. They timed it perfectly together. We can see from the slow motion coming out. But again, uh, it's common how the female diver in the mixed synchro has the tendency to be a little bit lower. Uh, but Team Norway does a good job. 155.15 15 total points. 14. We have Rocio Velasquez and Carlos Camacho on the board for Team Spain. Inward two and a half somersault pike. Rocio is a veteran diver. Has done a lot of European Championship. And Carlos is a... Carlos is the son of uh, former Spanish diver Ricardo, who was finalist in Moscow in 1980. And they do a great job with their inward two and a half somersault pike. Uh, Carlos get a perfect entry on it. And we hear a seven, seven and a half from the judges, 67.50 points for them. Very, very good job. Uh, 
impressive uh, performance by the Spanish divers. Very good. We see Arturo Miranda and Domenico Rinaldi, their coaches, very, very happy about their, their athletes. Here is, we can see on screen, Anna Pismenska, one of the veterans here. She has been around the diving world for a, for a long time. And uh, with her is Oleksi Sereda, former European champion. Wonder kid of Ukraine, they do a fantastic job with their back two and a half somersault pike. Very nice jump off the board, perfectly timed in the synchronization. We see how they spin at the right time. Oleksi comes out, we can see from this replay, comes out a little bit earlier because it spins much faster, but judges award them straight eights and 72 points is a high scoring dive for the mixed synchro. Uh, 11 points ahead of Italy with 201 points. Team Ukraine is doing a fantastic job so far. Team Armenia now, Aliza and um, Arman Lisa is the youngest diver in this event born in September 2007 inward two and a half summers of tuck overall an okay job uh, they're not perfectly synchronized uh, Aliza is uh, Aliza is a little bit lower and jumps we can see from the replay way too far to the left of the board this happens on inward dives uh, there's a tendency in young divers to protect themselves and jump slightly to the left because they fear to be too close to the board so they have this tendency but it's, uh, it's uh, not well seen by the judges obviously and they deduct points for that Team Greece up we have uh, Chalamu, Stravula, and uh, Grigorios Mitru. A back to and a half somersault tuck for the young Greek team. A good dive. Um, uh, the lady, uh, Stravula, is uh, way too low, unfortunately, for her and doesn't manage to get all the way, way vertical. We saw from the replay how she barely gets her hands above her head to line up and splashes a little bit too much but I gotta say I like how Team Greece is uh, there hugs and all around is good experience for them very young they have a long road ahead to gain experience and get great results in the future Jules and uh, Jules and uh, Juliette on the board for three, Team France right now Back to and a half somersault attack, same dive as the previous team. And uh, this is not very well synchronized. They do a good job individually, um, but we saw how Jules is much, much higher, and even the somersault is not timed very well. So, five and a half from the judges, 42.20 points for Team France. And. Uh, they will they end up at 163 points too far back for medal contention so far let's see if team germany with lena and moritz let's see how they do front two and a half summers of full twist and and i gotta say compared to the first dive lena does a fantastic job great synchro great individual dives very well synchronized. We see from the replay how they're always together throughout the dives. The only thing I could say about this dive is Moritz could have done a little bit better job getting all the way straight in the entry, but 66 points for Team, Great, uh, for team Germany is very good. And they are in second place at the moment, right in front of Team Italy with 191.3. 3.0 degree of difficulty. Oh, good synchro, a very good job in the synchronization. Unfortunately, they land too far over the vertical perfection. We saw Ben doing a better job. The Jardine just pulls too far, but still the synchro 
was amazing. Seven, six and a half. They probably, I gotta say, they could have gotten, a, I'd say, five, six points more in this particular dive. Germany and Italy second and third. And very close behind Italy, there's Spain. And then the rest, Great Britain, France, Norway, Greece, and Armenia. Team Italy ready up on the 10 meter platform with Sara Jodo in Di Maria, Canadian born diver with the dives for Italy since 2019. Uh, she is ready to perform her back arms and double somersault, one and a half twist. It is important for platform divers to show a good arm stand, stop it perfectly vertical, show that they can control it, and then now a good push off the platform. And she does a great job off the platform, a very strong push with her arms. Unfortunately for her, it doesn't square that come out from the twist and it lands a little bit too far over. I've seen her do this dive uh, better, but we gotta say six and a half from the judges is still a good score for her. Now, Edward Timbretti Guju, the diver from Turin, coached by Claudio Leone, is gonna perform a front three and a half somersault pike dive that Team Italy changed compared to last year in Rome uh, they had Andreas Larsen performing the front four and a half summers so they lost a, a little bit of DD changing this dive but let's see if we can get a great score anyways good perfect entry for Edward very good dive I'm gonna say that eights are coming for Team Italy from the judges good top nice pike position and I gotta say, perfect entry for Edward. Eight, eight and a half. But eight, the eights are the ones that count. 72 total points for Edward Timbretti. Puts Italy at 323 points. Individual dives now for Team Norway up on 10 meter on the 10 meter platform. And Letuxen. The Norwegian diver that dives in the United States at Louisiana State University. Back to and a half somersault pike. Vertical and uh, okay dive overall. I, I just, uh, she leans too far back while she's pressing on her squat here and ends up quite too far from the platform. Not the cleanest of the entries. So five and a half sixes. From the judges, 47.85 points. Not spectacular, but an average job for her. Can't complain with what she... Isaac Borslane, Ella's teammate, is showing us a back arms and double somersault, one and a half twist. Same dive as Sara Jordan Di Maria. And uh, Isaac, let's see, he's, uh, we can see how he pulls up for the arms in the in a different in the tuck position, different than the, the Italian diver we saw before, who had split arm, uh, split legs. Let's see the push off the platform, and uh, similar to Sarah and Di Maria, good uh, push off the platform. But let's the Norwegian diver lets the dive fall over. I gotta say, uh, Sara was a little bit cleaner. We can compare the two dives, but both end up over. Uh, sevens for Isaac. Good job, 67.20. It's uh, it's good to sometimes see same dives back to back, so we can compare them and. Uh, we can uh, we can uh, compare the two dives and see what the difference were. Now we have a Spanish diver Valeria on the platform. 
doing a back two and a half summer so pike same as ella did it before nice great job by the spanish diver very tall in the push good rotation nice pike position but i gotta say the best part of this dive is the entry perfectly vertical and very very clean eights and sevens from the judges i gotta say the judges uh, there's a little disagreement there eights from judge two and three and judge seven gives us six and a half but the ones that count are sevens and seven and a half 62.35 points puts Spain in third place at the moment with 248 total and we have uh, still have carlos camacho who has to perform his uh, back, arm, uh, back arm stand another armstand it pulls up the armstand in a pike position so three different armstand three different ways of getting up on the armstand for the three divers now carlos let's see how he does good top good top and a uh, good entry as well he compared to the other arms and we saw before he uh, uh, ends up being a tiny short in uh, and not completely vertical in the entry splashes a little bit too much but overall was a was a good dive uh, probably six and a half for him i'd say yeah yes exactly judges award him a total of 62.40 points six and a half from the judges better in the entry can complain with that takeoff for sure spain is in third now well, excuse me spain is in uh, second behind italy now and uh, we already have xenia bailo back two and a half summers of one and a half twist 3.2 degree of difficulty for the Ukrainian diver who's leading after the first three dives. Good job. Very good entry. Overall, a great dive. Pushes it very well off the platform. Gets a perfect somersault and twist. Squeezes that pike position and great lineup for the diver from Ukraine. 70. Two points, seven and a half from uh, the judges, and uh, her teammate Oleksi Sereda back Armson again, another back Armson double somersault, but this time around the Ukrainian wonder kid is showing us a two and a half twisters. The previous Armsons we've seen only had a well only had one and a half twist is adding an extra one taking the degree of difficulty to 3.6 remind you i remind you that the degree of difficulty is multiplied by the average uh, judging score amazing dive amazing dive by Oleksi sereda i i'm gonna see nines nine and a halves coming i hope so at least that is nearly perfect from my from my from my opinion eight and a half perfect entry only one nine from judge seven so eight and a half count for the total score of 91.80 points amazing job by Oleksi. aliza zakarian another dive for armenian young the armenian young diver She's doing a back two and a half somersault pike, 2.9 degree of difficulty. Armenia was, uh, the Armenian team was uh, last in the standings with 89.50 points after the first three dives. Let's see what she can do. Okay. An okay dive for uh, Aliza. Uh, doesn't come out of the second somersault very fast. 
and so this uh, makes the dive go over over the vertical point five from the judges four and a half five 42 points for her Vladimir now back Armsten double summers of one and a half twist again we will see every single um, team performing the arm stand in, in this uh, round in one of the two individual dives on platform but main, mainly because it's mandatory to have all six group of dives so also the arm stand and uh, another reason is because you, they could compete it in, syn in the synchro in the last round in the mixed synchro it's very hard to have a perfect synchronization starting from your hands uh, in a dive so all teams have uh, either this dive that we just saw or the dive we saw by Oleksi Sereda so the same dive but with an extra twist oh I'm double checking that actually Greece is doing the later on uh, now actually is uh, this next round uh, is doing the front arm set. but Team Armenia with a 52.80 points by Vladimir gets a total of 131.55 bouncing ahead of Team Greece which did not dive in this round yet here they are we have um, from Greece uh, Athanasios Tsirikos front armson double somersault full twist the only front armson we see today Good job, good job again. It's the third or fourth time we see someone coming out of the twist from platform and uh, keep going vert uh, over the vertical position. Uh, and I do not understand, but there is another problem with Team Greece. The judges awarded zero points, even though it did the, the right dive that was listed. And I do not see the coach asking for, for any clarification from the referee. I, the, it could be, but it's just uh, my idea that they didn't fill out the diving sheet very uh, correctly. And so they ended up getting a failed dive on 3 meter and a failed dive on 10. But that's just an option, I'm not sure. Anyways, let's keep going with the competition. We have uh, Stravula, Chamalu, back two and a half somersault, half twist on 10 meter. Good dive. We usually see divers perform uh, the same uh, twist, but with an extra twist. So usually it's one and a half twist, and this, in this case it's only half. Good job overall. Doesn't get a very clean entry. Uh, she's probably just a little bit too late grabbing her, grabbing her hands and again she did perform her dive correctly but another failed dive for Greece next up Team France uh, uh, Jade Gillet reverse two and a half somersault tuck 2.8 degree of difficulty and way too short the French diver doesn't push off the platform in enough to get all the two and a half somersault in 10 meters and tries to squeeze that tuck position a little bit too far high also tuck position up on the knees and we see on the replay how short she is force four and a half couple of fives from the judges two points is uh, it's definitely too low for her French diver Alexis Jandar who usually uh, performs uh, on three meter springboard is showing us uh, back Armsen on platform let's see how he does with that Four 
former gymnast does a perfect perfect job holding that arm stand. And a great dive. Great dive, just a bit short in the entry. But I gotta say I'm impressed. Very good technical movements. See here the push off the platform. Nice twist. Could have done a little bit better job lining it up. But sevens from the judges is very good. 67.20 points. And uh, Team Germany is out now. We have uh, Christina Wassen. Another Armsten. She waits a long time to push off the platform. Does a great job with it. Uh, similar to the French diver, uh, Alexis Jandard. She's probably going to get uh, maybe less scores because the only, it was similar, but it was much lower. She, We can see from the replay how she kicks her legs way too low. Makes the dive fall a little bit faster. So five and a half sixes from the judges. 56 points for her. Timo Barco, half somersault tuck with this dive last year. He only, he only scored around 42 points, if I remember correctly. And that's the reason why Germany was uh, ended up being fifth. And um, let's see. They will for, he will for sure want to do a better job and make up. And good dive. Not as great as I saw him. Uh, earlier in practice, he did a fantastic job earlier. This time around, it goes a little bit over when kicking out of the third somersault. We see it here a little bit too high and ends up over. Gotta say, uh, 59.40, he lost a few points here. Better than last year, but not as good as he did before. Team, uh, I mean, Timo, yeah, showed us in practice that back turning up somersault. I don't want to say for tens, but nine and a half for sure. Unfortunately, he didn't repeat himself. Robbie Scott Lee, British diver, four four and a half somersault tuck, very hard dive, three point seven degree of difficulty. Let's see how it goes. And does a great job, fantastic verticality, getting in the water. The push off the platform is fast enough and strong enough to get around four and a half times. Seeing the replay from this camera, how he has enough room getting vertical. The entry is uh, good enough for judges. I'd say sevens are coming, seven and a half. Maybe, maybe they get excited in an eight. I don't know. Let's see. It. We gotta wait a little bit for the response from the judges. 3.7 degree of difficulty. This dive is gonna have an overall score quite high. And we'll uh, put. Oh. Failed dive. Zeros from the judges. And I gotta say, I got excited because it was a great dive, but there's. Uh, I see coaches on deck. Uh, arguing, but I and uh, we, have, we have a little problem here. The screen shows Italian diver, the Italian synchro pair, and now they change it. We have Eden Cheng, yeah, now they change the screen. We have Eden Cheng performing back double somersault, one and a half twist from the arm stand. Eden uh, dives in uh, Los Angeles, California at UCLA University with Tom Stebbing as a coach. And uh, does a good job with uh, with her dive. Same as other divers previously, she lets the dive go over, but I can already tell you they showed a failed dive. So zeros from the judges. And uh, I guess with this problem 
uh, Team Great Britain has all the, all the hopes for a medal. That's for sure now. And uh, we have uh, Team Ukraine in first, Italy in second, Spain in third, Germany in fourth, Norway, France, Armenia, Great Britain, and Greece. Before the last round of dives, back two and a half somersault, one and a half twist for Team Italy, who needs a, a perfect dive if they want to try and get ahead of. Uh, Ukraine. Team Italy is 41 points behind. They need perfection and then they will have to wait for Team Ukraine and uh, look for a mistake from them. Let's see how they do first. Edward and Sara were third in the mixed synchro 10 meter event last year. Oh, what a good dive from Team Italy. They secured a medal. I can tell you already. Great dive, perfect synchronization by the Italians and great entries. Eight, seven and a half from the judges, 75.20 points, a total of 398.25. They, they did uh, nearly as well as last year when they won with 402, 399, 398.25. Very good. We see Team Italy all smiles all around. Great job. And uh, we have Perfect. already reversed two and a half summers of Tuck for Ella Tuxen and Isaac Worslein. Ooh, the synchro is very good up until the end of the dive. They were perfectly together, jumping and spinning, but then Ella just comes out past the vertical we can see it here we can see it close to the camera kiss way too late too far high and goes over force from the judges and 33.60 points it's just 303 points for team norway and team norway has no more chance of getting a medal team spain now Valeria and Carlos, they were looking after the previous rounds. They were in third, so they're looking to get a medal. Back two and a half somersault, one and a half twist. And they do an amazing job. Amazing job for the Spanish divers. Perfectly synchronized, very similar to the Italians. Valeria is, uh, gets a great entry, seven, seven and a half from the judges, 381.45 points for uh, Team Spain. 381.45, yeah, with the 70 points on the last dive, amazing job for, for them. They are in second place at the moment. And we have uh, the leaders so far, Team Ukraine. We have Bailo and Sereda from three and a half summers of Pike. Oh, yeah. They are getting their gold medal this year. Didn't get it last year, but just three points, and they will get it by much, much more this time around. Amazing. Eights from the judges. Perfect completion by Team Ukraine. Even a nine, so eight and a half, eight, eight are the scores that count. 73.50 on this dive. And great job with 438.30 points. We can already say we have a Euro European champion, Team Ukraine. Team Armenia now. Another dive by Alisa and uh, Marat. Front three and a half summers of Pike. Same dive as uh, Team Ukraine before them. And uh, not as well executed. We saw Lisa struggling today. Unfortunately, started off uh, the competition with a failed reverse two and a half somersault and ended up on the last dive way too short on this front three and a half somersault pike. Doesn't get enough speed in the rotation, and uh, unfortunately, they're also quite off uh, rhythm in the synchronization. Three and a half, four and a half for them. They close. Uh, 
their competition with a total of 215.85. Greece now. Chamelu and Sirikos. Reverse dive pipe. So this is a this is a very easy dive. Just uh, half a rotation. 1.9 degree of difficulty. Most likely they are they're very young and I gotta say uh, it's a good chance for them to make, gain some experience. They're performing a, a, a very easy dive, scoring seven, seven and a half, 40 points total. They probably don't have a, a complete list off a platform, but since you need all dives, uh, they decided to still be here and compete at an easier dive, but be here and gain experience. Team France now on the platform. Alexi and uh, Jade. Back to and a half somersault, one and a half twi twist. Oh, another great twist, also by the French divers. We have seen this dive performed in an excellent way by the three teams that showed it to, showed it to us so far. Eights from the judges, seven and a half are the ones that count 72 points, 341 points, 14 France. Good job. So I gotta say, as of right now, Top three teams are Ukraine, Italy, and Spain. And I gotta say that Team Germany, who is ready to dive now, has a chance to get all the way up to a place that would have to score 77 points, more or less. Or actually, less. 72 points. Let's see how they do with, with their inward three and a half somersault tuck. Oh, nice dive. I gotta be honest, don't think they're gonna get up at 72 but it's going to be close for the bronze medal between germany and spain let's see what the judges think sevens from the judges a total score of 70 points on this dive 377 and puts team germany in fourth place so spain secured the bronze medal Team Great Britain now up on the platform. Finishing their competition with an inward three and a half somersault tuck. Eden Cheng and uh, um, and uh, Robbie Lee. Oh, great dive. Very well uh, synchronized. Uh, the only difference judges could see in this dive is how Eden comes out later than Robbie. Uh, Robbie was spinning extremely fast. He kicks up almost a complete somersault before his teammate. Sevens from the judges, 231.95 points. Unfortunately for Team Great Britain, they end up in seventh place this year round. So we have. We are done with the first competition of these uh, diving events at Eurogames 2023. The top three of the podium with 377, France 341.60, Norway in sixth 303.80, seventh place for Great Britain 231.95.